From the deposits of Tenke Fungurumu in the Katanga, a, 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 a locality which never fails to amaze. Now here again we have a difference. Matrix, a young dolomite to actually an older dolomite. Sitting on top of this would be a thin layer of chrysocholla. Now the bluishness uh, in, in these sections, now the botryoidal undertone would most likely be little stalagmites, stalactites of chrysocholla, which have all been dusted by a layer of druzy quartz crystals. Mind you, this could be chalcedony as well. Let's have a look at the cross section. You'll see that it's actually chrysocholla at the bottom, which appears white, which is so strange to me because uh, the blue coloration um, would maybe be blue chalcedony. Uh, which again has been dusted with a layer of druzy quartz. From a from an aesthetics point of view, rather rather appealing. Love those little shades of white going into the blue on these sections. Over here we can actually see that seems to be chrysocolor on that cross section over there. So maybe a white and a blue chrysocolor intermingled on various uh, sections of the specimen. Size-wise, the piece is hand size, so pretty good size. Looking from the top down, this is the effect you have. Um, and then looking from the side across, so you'd display it like this. All the way from the deposits of Tenke, well, the Tenke from Gurumu mine in the uh, uh, copper mines of the Katanga, formerly Shabaza. Yeah, quite lovely. This is pretty accurate. Actually, there's a bit more of a turquoise to to off greenish color. Um, uh, very difficult to get the 100% accurate color when I look at this angle. When I look at this angle again, this looks more blue than the actual specimen. The actual specimen is more an adjuite color, if I can say so.